Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And those of you with a Roku probably recognize the Roku Aquarium screensaver. In this video, we're going to show you how to use a Roku and an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone and use AirPlay directly from your device to the Roku. This has been built in for a while, but recent updates have made it much easier to use and much more consistent. So we're going to go into the settings and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. As we cycle through, you will see amongst the various things we can work on here, you have a section for Apple, AirPlay, and HomeKit. We're just going to select that and I'm going to sort of give you a feel for what you can work with here. You see it gives you the AirPlay display, and you want to make sure that AirPlay is in fact turned on. You can ask for it to do a code. This is going to be something that you'll see flash up on the TV screen, and we'll show you how that works. We're just going to set it for every time right this second because I want you to see the code flash up, up on the screen. But otherwise, you can set it for once, and it just kind of automatically pops up there. There's a whole settings section where you can set it up for anything that you're going to need. If you need closed captioning and things like that, all of the settings are here from the font sizes that you can see adjusted down there on the left side to other settings within the closed captioning sections. If you're going to need it, you're going to want to set it up ahead of time so that you don't have to jump into settings later because once you're in, if you press back, it will pop back out of the settings. But you see that there are multiple fonts, multiple sizes, and you can even set it up so that the background of the box where the subtitles are could you know, be blockier or clearer, you know, just depending on what you want to do. You can set all of that up through this menu ahead of time. So that's where the AirPlay menu is. Now, in order to use AirPlay, though, you need a... Apple computer, like a MacBook or you know a Power Mac, anything you want, or an iOS device, like what we've got here is my iPad. You should recognize that standard Apple-looking interface. And what you do is you go into the upper right-hand corner and swipe down here, and you see this menu. Right now we're recording it. That's what you see in the <laughs> little thing. But as you touch those two screens, this brings you to the screen mirroring menu. And you see all of the Rokus that we have listed. And so we're going to send this to the Roku Ultra. We're going to go from the iPad to the Roku Ultra. We select, you tap Roku Ultra, and your little code box comes up. And what you're going to see is on the Roku itself, in a, you know, in a couple of seconds, it will display the code that you have to type in. And so... Let that do its job. There it is. Launches the AirPlay screen. And there's the code. So on your iOS device or your computer, you're going to type in that numerical code. And you see it's, it says Ryan's iPad 2. So what that's saying is that my iPad 2 is the thing that is asking to connect to the Roku. And you type it in. And it pulls up this setting. Well, you can see that the Roku is showing the iPad. You'll see, you can tell that because up in the right hand corner you see the little AirPlay symbol. This is the Roku handling the iPad and it's displaying the screen of the iPad on here. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, there's a number of reasons. For one, not everything out there has its own Roku app. So if you want to be able to use it to see something on a bigger screen, like here we'll jump in with LinkedIn. You know, you can see this on your big screen. And this goes for just about any website I've run across. In fact, if you're going to a website that has video content, you can mirror it and you can see it all on the screen. It'll play the audio and 
in the case of simply mirroring, all you have to do is use your iPad as the controller, kind of like the old Chromecast sort of thing. But if you're on a website that has video that you can expand, it will often launch straight into AirPlay, which is a little different. AirPlay is more like what you're used to with a Chromecast. You're sending video directly from the iOS device to the Roku, and it is really great because after that, once you're using AirPlay, you can actually use the Roku's remote to control the playback, pause, fast forward, everything. It's like you've built the app into the Roku or the website into the Roku. And that greatly expands what you can do with your Roku. And all you have to do is just put the other device aside. You know, you don't have to hold it. You don't have to deal with it. You can put it on the coffee table. And, you know, you can watch new apps that you couldn't access before. You can access website videos that you couldn't access before. And I think it's just a really cool, helpful thing to do. So that's it. That is how you use AirPlay on a Roku. Like I said, it's gotten very simple. If you've seen other videos in the past, you might have seen it. It was a little, just a little trickier setup. Now, I like the way that it works. I've done this numerous times. I've set it up on every single Roku you've seen displayed at the top of the video. And I think it's really exciting to see this finally come to fruition the way that it should. This has been a feature on Roku for many years now, and it's just never worked so well. I hope you found that helpful, and if you did, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.